The nearly 42-year reign of Muammar Gaddafi over Libya appears to be in its final hours. On Sunday, thousands of rebels stormed into Libya's capital, Tripoli, and within hours they reached the city's center square. According to an opposition leader, the military unit in charge of protecting Gaddafi surrendered and switched sides. Rebel forces also arrested and detained Gaddafi's son and heir apparent. For more, we're joined on the phone by Libya's deputy U.N. ambassador, Ibrahim Dabashi. Mr. Ambassador, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. You were one of the first Libyan officials to speak out against Gaddafi earlier this year. When you see the pictures coming out of Tripoli right now, what are you thinking this morning? Well, it is, a, it is a great day, really, for the Libyan people and for uh, the uh, people of the region uh, as a whole. Uh, it, it, it is what well, uh, the Libyan people have set uh, a very important example for the people of the region that uh, whatever uh, the forces of the dictatorship will be, the, the, the uh, will of the people will prevail uh, at the end. So it is the will of the Libyan people which has prevailed today. The question here now is what happens to Muammar Gaddafi? Do you think he'll be captured? Uh, I think uh, most prob probably he will be uh, captured because I think he is still somewhere in Tripoli uh, in one of the underground hidings that he built in, uh, in, uh, in Dabla Zizi and in some other places. So if the regime of Muammar Gaddafi falls, the rebels, of course, would have to take charge and lead this nation. Are the rebels ready to do that? Yes, they are. Uh, certainly, they are uh, uh, well prepared now to uh, announce an interim government very soon. And uh, it will take over from the uh, National Transitional Council. And they, uh, I mean, not exactly, uh, but anyway, in a in few uh, weeks, they will constitute a National Council. Uh, which will take over from the uh, uh, National Transitional Council. Alrighty, so I think, they, I think they are, they are prepared for that. Excellent. Libya's Deputy UN Ambassador Ibrahim Dabashi this morning. Mr. Ambassador, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you.